begin this lesson with a look at synonyms. A synonym is a word or phrase that means the same thing as another word or phrase. For example, little and small are synonyms. Large and big are synonyms. Scam and fraud are synonyms. Answer and reply are synonyms. Sometimes a common word has a synonym that is not a common word. For example, to sign up also means to register. You sign up for a class, you register for a class. You sign up to vote, you register to vote. Here we have a list of some more synonyms. On the left side, there is a list of common words. These words you may hear in everyday life. On the right side, you have a list of their formal synonyms. You may hear or see some of these words when dealing with U.S. immigration and citizenship matters. Let's take a look at these synonyms two at a time. To get also means to obtain. You get a green card, you obtain a green card. Green card also means permanent resident card. Green card and permanent resident card are synonyms. A green card lottery also means diversity visa lottery. You can win the green card lottery or win the diversity visa lottery. A person also is an individual. A person and an individual are synonyms. To approve means to authorize. Your paperwork may be approved. Your paperwork may be authorized. Now I would like to share with you some examples of scams some of my students have run into over the years. A few months ago, one of my students came to class with a letter from his mail. It was from a bank offering a credit card. It said that he can have a credit card if he sends a check for $500. I told my student, this is a scam. You don't need to pay to open a credit card. Perhaps you will have a fee, but not a payment to open a credit card. I took his mail and ripped it up. That was a scam. Another type of scam involves in-person encounters. One of my students was encountered by someone who said they worked for Immigration and Custom. These two people were actually security guards, private security guards. 
nothing to do with the government. They scared my student into believing that he needed to produce his green card or his permanent resident card. They told him he needed to show his documentation. This was a scam. It's important to know that if someone claims they work for the U.S. government and they want to see your personal information, you have the right to see their U.S. government identification. Everyone can get caught in a scam. About two years ago, I was scammed also. I needed to work from home, so I found an online company specializing in administrative work from home. I registered on the website. I gave my personal information, my name, my address, my phone number, and I also paid a monthly fee for the company to help me find work at home. Several months went by and I did not receive one job offer. When I tried to call the company to cancel the service, no one would answer. The telephone was dead. Somehow, the company was taking my money and I had no way to cancel the service. Finally, after several more months, I was able to get a hold of someone to cancel my service. I lost money and time and I also gave personal information to someone who scammed me. It can happen to everyone. Be careful. Here is one more list of words to finish our lesson. Let's take a look. Bank account, credit card, passwords, Social security, social security number, passport, work permit. These are important documents or pieces of information that you need to guard carefully. We also have the following words. Enroll in school, open a new bank account, go to a new doctor, go to U.S. government office, and apply for a job. These are important places where you may be expected to show your personal information.